Hi everyone, this is Nathan Ware with Rain Networks. Thanks for joining us today. Today we're going to do part four of our video series on Proofpoint Essentials. And we're going to talk about something kind of unique today. We're going to talk about how to set up Proofpoint to be your outbound smart host. How to route your email uh, out from your email server into Proofpoint so that they can do all kinds of stuff like clean it and filter it and some of the other things that you would want them to do with your outbound email. So let's get in there and look at some of the settings for outbound email. So first of all, to set up in Proofpoint your outbound sending servers, you want to come to Company Settings and then Domains. And so this top section here is what we went through in our previous video. This has a lot to do with your inbound settings, but this lower section is where we tell Proofpoint our uh, outbound settings. So you can see in our uh, situation, we use Office 365 for our email. So we have the Office 365 server set here. Um, this is put here by clicking on this Manage Hosted Services button. And you can see you can toggle off Office 365 or Google Apps and it will automatically take care of routing your email to the correct servers, which is great. If you have uh, your own on-premise server, you might click New Sending Server. Uh, put in the IP address here and away you go. Hit the Save button over here and now Proofpoint will accept mail from that server. Okay, I'm going to delete that since that was just for testing purposes. But any outbound server that you intend to send mail to Proofpoint, you need to make sure it's registered here because if not, Proofpoint's going to see email from this server that they consider a foreign server and bounce that email. So very, very critical that you put whatever server here uh, that you're going to use to send email to Proofpoint. Okay, so that's that piece. Now, there's a couple extra steps here that you got to be aware of. So first of all, um, it's important that whenever you uh, send mail uh, from a server that you have an SPF record. Okay, SPF stands for Sender Policy Framework. It's a record that's going to exist uh, on the DNS records for your domain. And if you're going to use Proofpoint to send email for you, you need to make sure that this SPF record uh, is set uh, for your domain. Very, very critical that everybody has a valid SPF record. Um, as an example, I brought up what our SPF record looks like. So you can see here we use Proofpoint. Uh, we have another server we use to send mail. And then we also use the Office 365 server. So you can see in your SPF record, you can have multiple servers that you send mail for your domain from. That's very, very common. Uh, it's just important that you uh, get the correct syntax. So you can see here that there's you know, a colon, and it's just all the syntax here is very, very critical. Um, I use a website a, a lot with people that aren't familiar with how to build an SPF record. Uh, we'll make sure and put this website in the notes. It's this easy SPF builder. It's very cool. So you basically just come in here, you type in your domain name up here, you start putting in the sending servers down here in these boxes here. I'll just go ahead and do that real quick. Let me just take that server. I'm going to copy that. Um, you put them down here in these boxes here, you know, basically telling it what servers send mail for your domain. And you can see as you do it, it literally builds your SPF record for you up here. So very, very handy little tool. I'll make sure that this uh, ends up in the, um, in the notes for this video. So very cool. So you've put in your server into Proofpoint. You've built a proper SPF record. Um, one other thing of note is in your mail server, you then need to literally route your email to a specific server. So here is the outbound smart host that you would use to uh, route mail from your mail service to Proofpoint. Okay, um, I also uh, brought up this website here. Like if you have an exchange server, you would go to organization configuration, hub transport, um, go to the send connectors tab, and you get into this little section here where you can route mail through the following smart hosts and that's where you would put the uh, smart host for example in an exchange server configuration um, it's a little bit different if you use office 365 or google apps uh, but you know same idea is you need a single server that you're going to send your email through that is that server i will also make sure that that ends up in the notes for this video so uh, just to recap Here's the section where you tell Proofpoint where you're uh, sending mail from. You need to make an SPF record and you need to put in 
the smart host address in the corresponding box for your mail service and that's about it um, of course you need to make sure you have user accounts built and in our next video we're going to talk about how to create and configure user accounts in proofpoint um, in your proofpoint essential service thanks a lot for watching and stay tuned for another video soon